Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. Going to be hot and humid later. Some sun will come out. It'll be about 80. Uh, not very comfortable. Right now, you got rain spread across Long Island. You got thunder and lightning in a couple of different spots. Love it. Yeah, the uh, the commute this morning. But do be careful driving, heading out, you know. The weather's yeah. going to improve, but take it easy. Absolutely. Uh, and then tomorrow, more comfortable. And, uh, you know, I have to say, and this I'm not saying this, th- this is really a, a positive thing. It's just something that blew my mind. I know that you love to wear your bracelets and your rings and stuff. And I heard a jingling before, and I, I said to you off the air, I said, I said, wow, you know, so early in the morning, you always wear your bracelets. And you told me you never I take never them take off. I never take them off. That's right. Even showering. You don't take them off. I shower with them. I'll swim in them. I never take them off. Even Unless rings. I'm doing something very, like for Casey's wedding, I took off certain bracelets to put another one on. Rings on always. That's that's really, uh, you know, that's commitment to the uh, art, to the craft, you know, that's. <laughs> <laughs> I love jewelry and yeah. I wear it every day. That is uh, that's pretty unique, I think, because I, you know, I can hear them you know, jingle. In, uh, Ithaca, when I was there this past weekend, mm. I think you're too young, but people will remember spoon jewelry where people actually took spoons, forks, whatever, and made them into rings and bracelets. It was very big back in the day. Hmm. I come upon this guy who does that. He makes utensil jewelry, forks, knives, spoons into beautiful things. I bought a necklace from him. It was his last show. He's retiring. He is only going to sell online. But I got more compliments on that necklace at that wedding than you can imagine. Hmm. And he made it from, I think, a fork. I mean, it's that's, crazy. That's pretty cool. I'll have yeah. to send you a, a picture because it's so unusual. All but right. Anyone who's in my era, era, uh, <laughs> will know about, uh, you know, spoon jewelry. It was a big deal back in the day. I love that. The candy spoon jewelry era. I love yeah. that. Yeah. And then I bought Hate Ashbury Sandalwood and Patchouli Soap back in that era. From All that right. era as well. Thank you. Uh, all right. I, I, I think I've heard of that, but I don't know necessarily yeah, what that is. It's one of my favorites. All right. Uh, that's good. No, I'm sure. You know what? I, I love that you're into that aspect of And if anybody things. knows what I'm talking about, let us know. Drop us an email or something <laughs> yeah. that you know what yeah. I'm talking about. Because right now, Fathead has no idea. Candy is looking for someone to connect with. If yeah, you can email us at our website, please. please. Oh, before I forget... Um, I've been watching a couple of different things, and if you want to write these down so you don't forget, make a little note, okay? Yeah, um, so let me get my pen out. Very big doings. Go ahead. On Netflix, I recently watched the Wham! documentary. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a documentary on Wham! Yeah, the 80s group Wham! And it's interesting to see just how into the songwriting and producing George Michael was. It, like... Uh, That's the one thing, and I'm not giving anything away. You see it throughout the whole course of the documentary. He was like, like, you know, you know how he was a sex symbol and all these things, right? He, that was not his goal or purpose. He loved producing and creating the music. He was the the mastermind of all of it. what a voice he had. Oh my goodness. He could sing great. Loved him. Yeah. A very, very unique story. uh, Like their music. check that out for sure. They were a different type of band at the beginning. They were like this crazy, weird UK dance club band, and the music was not good when they started. It was really, really weird. Yeah. Like what mm-hmm. else you got? Um, this one, I'm only one episode in. I'm watching it with Leah. She's rewatching it because she's excited. I found it. It's on Prime. It's called Maxton Hall. And what's that? This is like one of these, you know, I love the high school, college drama type shows, Candy. You sure do. This is a private school. It's a British show, I think, and it, it revolves around the drama of, and it's fake, it's scripted, uh, of a private school. And, you know, you got the good looking yes. guy who's Maxton a jerk. Maxton Hall, is that it? Yeah, yeah okay. Maxton got Hall. Got it written down right here. But I saved the best for last. Oh. I'm on episode four of your honor 
on Netflix with Brian Cranston. Oh, I love him. He's great. Yeah, of course, Breaking Bad, right? Yes. Um, he is a judge, and in this uh, series, it's episodes, in this series, again, not giving anything away, his son commits a crime, and the show revolves around the judge, the father, trying to cover it up and they're trying to get away with it and it's a whole and he is really good in this show what a great actor brian cranston yeah, he really is. is he's great i got the uh, pleasure of meeting him once and he's a really nice guy too you told me that uh yeah. that's incredible the other thing about him you know he was funny on seinfeld he was the dentist on seinfeld i know can you imagine yeah, yeah. so really uh, good there you go there's a couple of things for you to Check out Your Honor on Netflix is number one for me. Uh, and I think you'll enjoy the Wham! documentary. I really do. All right? Yeah, I think I will, too. Thank you. All right. Before we get to National Days and Good News Stories, I love this. This is just funny to me. They did a poll in Turkey, not that they really needed to, uh, and they didn't poll very many people. They polled 19 men and 18 women who happened to be on a certain airline in Turkey within the last 12 months. So they literally polled 37 people. And they found in this poll that it is better to have an attractive flight attendant on your airplane to keep passengers calm and engaged and everyone feeling attractive. good. That's what it says. Yes. Could you imagine if they did this poll in the United States and uh, there was a big report? Yes, we must have attractive. Could you imagine the protesting? We have to have attractive people on the airplanes. Yes, this is what they found in Turkey. Uh, the attractiveness of a flight attendant is essential for implementing programs and incentives and customer and then experience. And ask the old question, how do you define attractive? Yes, everyone has a different version of that, yes. right? Now, in my, it's someone whose vibes are really nice and friendly. They don't have to be a supermodel-looking person. But if they're nice and affable, yeah, I love that. Yes, there are different different levels, different ways to uh, define that, for sure, without a doubt. Uh, Candy, some national days. Let me, uh, let me, let me, okay, here we go. Got to close out an ad. Got it on my phone. All right. Do you know today is June 6th? Today is the anniversary of D-Day when we stormed the beaches of Normandy. The historical day, the Allied troops, the Allied forces staged one of the pivotal attacks against Germany during World War II. That was today. Yes. Uh, you know how I'm so familiar with it from the movie Stand By Me? Really? I don't know if you remember it, but there's a scene with the kid's father fought and he does this whole dramatic thing and yeah i in stand by me in stand by me that with the kids and the train tracks mm -hmm. i i really don't remember wow yep. interesting okay um yeah i had i haven't seen that movie offered anywhere where i where? see it occasionally on t regular television huh I'll have to, and i'm you sure know if you asked your little remote um it would take you someplace that has it i'm sure it's you know you're able to watch it from someplace Here's a random movie I've seen come up on TV a couple of times in the last three or four days, and I've watched it both times, or at least part of it, while I was home or sitting on the couch. Did you ever see Juice with Tupac Shakur back in never. the day? I never saw that. Uh, it's it's a he's he was so good in that film. What that's a classic. It's a classic film. It really is. I'm gonna have um, to check that out. Yeah, I it was uh it was good. So I, I watched that twice or parts of it in the last uh, couple days. National Eyewear Day today. You wear uh, well, special it's funny eyewear that you uh, well I wear readers and I need glasses that I haven't actually gotten yet. And it's funny. You brought that up because I was there yesterday, and I was dealing before that with this lovely woman, Maria. She wasn't there yesterday, and I got this guy, and I didn't like him, and I left. I said, mm. I just take my prescription so I could get my frame somewhere else um, because he just turned me off. And so that's another way of attractiveness with not particularly having anything to do with looks yeah well it's interesting with the eyewear thing too is um i had i had an eye checkup let's say october november and i didn't love the person and they ended up my contacts ended up being like 
bad or hurting. Oh. Like, like the whole thing was off. So I went to a different place, same company, but different location. And I found the most wonderful woman. It makes all the difference. She was so good. She did a whole second exam for me and redid my lenses and everything worked out perfectly. She was so good. Um, well, I am there with you because yesterday I was so annoyed. I thought, oh, I'm going to finally do this. I'm going to get the glasses. I'm going to take the plunge. And he annoyed me. And Maria, hmm. the girl that I really liked, wasn't there. I am going to get my eyes examined in September. It's been a year since the last one. We'll see if there's any changes, and I'll do right. that then. But yeah, it, it turned right. me off. That's all. I'll, That's the I'll way wait. it goes. I get it. Uh, I'm not out of here. By the way, I'm not hustling you along. I'm hustling both of us along because oh, we are sorry. we're we're running a little long. All right. Oh, oh. Uh, it's National Higher Education Day. You know, we're going to visit some colleges this summer and start to get yes. Leah into that. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, National Applesauce Cake Day. I don't even know what that is. You know, I always hear that from like shows from the you know yesteryear, like the Waltons or whatever. I have never had applesauce cake. All right, me neither. National Drive-In Movie Day. Ever go to a drive-in, oh, Candy? yes. When I was a little kid, it was a big uh, outing for us. I loved it. And then we had a drive-in theater when my kids were little, and we used to go, and it was so much fun. Now, is it like the movie Grease where you sneak people in the trunk? You can put people in the trunk and sneak them it, in? <laughs> as I remember, uh, it's only, you know, you pay for the car. Oh, okay. Person in it, but then you bring the blankets and the pillows, and you lay out under the sun, and I'm not—I mean, the stars, oh, not the right. sun—and snack away. And we had a great time doing it. Meet other people. It was fun. It's also National Gardening Exercise Day. It's your day. Every day. day. All right. What are those plants? I say this is exercise. Candy, let's uh, wrap it up with some good news. A 27-year-old in San Diego, Jesus Morales, in the news. His heartwarming TikToks, he hires workers standing outside Home Depot and takes them to Disneyland. He gives them cash at the end, and they go home with a couple of bucks. He, ta he gives them a day out at Disneyland. That's wonderful. Wonderful. Um, a guy in Arizona passed away last month, and instead of a funeral, his family threw him a funeral. They say he was a fun-loving guy, so it made sense. They had a bounce house for the kids, music, all these things. Around 500 family and friends showed up. They had a whole good time, food and drink. and that. See, I could see us doing something like that. You would want yeah, something like that, absolutely right? Absolutely, I would. Absolutely. Um, and a guy vacationing in Virginia Beach lost his wedding ring in the sand, originally his late mom's ring. Oh. So a man with a metal detector combed the whole beach and found it on his final pass through the beach. Love that. Yeah. Uh, and that does it. We got to wrap up. Candy, have a rest of your day, a great, wonderful you rest of your day. You have a good one. Do something interesting so you have something to talk about tomorrow. We got two hours of tennis this afternoon. How's that for you? I said find something interesting we have to talk to about tomorrow. <laughs> well, is it maybe maybe tennis Nick will have something uh, something fun going oh, on. Oh, you two are bonding today. All right, he, well, that'll be a story in and of itself. His daughter and my daughter will be playing for an hour today later during one of the uh, one of the lessons. Yeah, so now be if fun. one beats the other badly, will you two stop talking to each other? No, see, uh, see tennis. We are. Oh, we have the no time for this, buddy. I know, I know, but now you got me started. <laughs> tennis we are running so long this is crazy so sorry fathead we have no more time to discuss it <laughs> hold on so um <laughs> tennis parents are very open and honest uh tennis nick's daughter is a better tennis player than my daughter now you never know a year from now two years from you know are people they the same age they are the same age but right now his daughter, without a doubt, it's it's, and I can freely admit that. So can Leah. She's a better tennis player, so she will beat Leah more often. But you know, Leah gets great experience from playing that's against the kind her. Of people like with wrestling as well. Back in the day, you want to wrestle the best because that's yep. how you get better. Yep, absolutely. So, all right, uh, we got to go. I'm here till ten. You know the deal. Rain passing through, hot and humid this afternoon. Eighty. Let's hit the roads. My country, ninety six point one. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.